Sagittarius. Let's look into your love life for the month of April 2020. Sagittarius, before I get into your cards, I would like to let you guys know that April 9th, I will be doing a free live webinar. And this webinar is going to be all about how to call in your soulmate, how to call in your true love, how to call in your divine partner. The webinar is called Calling in Your Soulmate Secrets to Love Manifestation. And in this webinar, we're going to be going all over why you have not been able to manifest your soulmate so far, what to do about it, as well as how to call in your soulmate, your true love with ease and with grace. It's going to be great. We're going to go over so much amazing information in the free live webinar. Trust me, Sagittarius, you don't want to miss it. So to sign up for the free live webinar, check the top of the description box below. There will be a link to go ahead and register. Again, we're going to be going over so much amazing stuff. It's going to be really, really fun. So you definitely don't want to miss it. Sign up at the top of the description box below. Again, that webinar is on April 9th of 2020 at 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time and 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you definitely want to register now so you can attend that webinar then. All right, my lovely Sagis, let's go ahead and go into your messages here. So we're going to start off with the tarot, then we're going to go into your predictions, and then we're going to go into your guidance. And I actually was guided to pull from a different Oracle deck um, for your reading. So let's see what happens, okay? All right, so first off with the tarot, we're going to start off with the King of Cups. So I want to get more information about this because so far all I see is somebody has feelings for somebody. This male has feelings for somebody. This male has deep emotional feelings for somebody, but I want to get more information. So let's see what's going on with this King of Cups. So clarify this King of Cups, please, guys. Clarify this King of Cups, please. What's going on with this King of Cups? this male here, right? Now, this could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces male. Doesn't have to be because this is a general reading. But this is just a male here. Or this could be a female because again, this is a general reading. But this is someone here who has very strong emotional feelings, very strong romantic feelings for this beautiful female here. So we have the King of Cups who has feelings for this beautiful Empress. And the Empress is like all four queens rolled into one. So she's the queen of, queen of Swords. She's the Queen of Cups. She's the Queen of um, Wands. She's the Queen of Swords. She's all the queens. She's the best of all the queens. And this King of Cups has been contemplating or wanting to move forward into higher levels of commitment with her. <clears throat> Excuse me. So pick whoever you are in this situation. You could be the King of Cups. You can be the Empress. All right. So pick whoever you are. Now, what I see here with this King of Cups is this King of Cups wants higher level of commitment. And really, to be completely honest, Sagittarius, someone wants marriage. Someone wants marriage, okay? So I also have here the Knight of Wands. So let's see what's going on with this guy because I want more information. What's up with him? Because I'm thinking that this King of Cups and this Knight of Wands are the same person. So it could be this King of Cups coming forward to the Empress. You know, now, in the next couple of days. However, this... Hmm. 
<laughs> Sag. Oh my God. I love you guys. I love Sagittarius. If you guys have not seen my readings before or heard me talk about this, I have some like obsession with Sagittarius. I'm a Cancer, but I have some obsession with Sagittarius. I don't know what it is with you guys, but you guys are like crack to me. Like I love Sagittarius. When I was growing up, all my best friends were Sagittarius. Like when I choose to date, I choose Sagittarius. So I just have to share my affections for you all. For all those Saggies watching, yes, there are some cross watchers too, but for all you Saggies, I love you guys. I don't know what it is. And look at this. Look at that. Eh, 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 eh. So we have this divine partnership, this divine partnership right here. We have this divine couple, and they're looking at each other, which is great. So I see here that they're there's a divine partnership. Wait, hold up. Hold up. And not the way. We have these two major arcanas. Oh my gosh. Okay, 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 okay. So we have some really beautiful energy, Sag. I'm really enjoying your reading right now. It's funny, I almost like forgot you guys' reading. I was getting ready to do a Taurus reading, then I realized I already did Taurus. Who didn't I do? Sag. Okay. So somebody's going towards this king of uh, queen of cups. I'm feeling as though it's this king of cups. He's taking action because I'm feeling as though this isn't necessarily a person, another person. I'm feeling as though, now for some of you, this can be another person who, um, there can be another person who's interested in this queen of wands. Now, some of these King of Cups could have been kind of in that player energy before, keeping their options open, having more than one partner, whatever. But I'm really feeling that this King of Cups here, because he loves him some Empress. He loves him some of his Empress. And he wants to establish something with her. So I feel like in the month of April, he's going to be going towards her with gusto. He's going to be going towards her, making it known. Hey, hey, I love you. Hey, you pretty. Hey, you fine. You know, it's like, yeah. Because I feel like he, you know, it's like, I feel, I just feel like he's admiring her. Like, he sees her. He sees the beauty in her. He sees who she is. Like, he's been watching her. And no, I don't have the um, page of, pen of, page of uh, swords. But I'm, I'm hearing, like, he's looking at her on social media. Like, now I have the page of swords. <laughs> Here it is. Okay. There it is. Okay. So. <laughs> so we have that page of swords there. So yes, he has been looking at her. He has been admiring her. He has been seeing how fine she is. And he's like, you know what? I'm going to get her. I'm going to win at all costs. I'm going to get my queen of cups. She's mine. You know, she's mine. And I don't mean to say that in like a because I like now that I say that out loud, or once I hear myself say that, that sounds kind of creepy. But I don't feel like it's a well, do I feel like it's a creepy energy? Hold on, let me see. Kind of a little bit, but not like intimidating, like nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> I guess that's what it is. There's nothing to be afraid of. It's just like, yeah, that's my my person. Like I I see her, I see how beautiful she is, I want her. I see how loving and caring and sweet and, and warm and kind and, and just beautiful inside and out that she is. So let me go towards her. And I'm hearing, I just heard somebody maybe putting up their player's card. Players only. So I'm hearing um, somebody maybe hanging up their player card and turning in their player card. I just heard that. Okay. What else am I getting? I'm getting that this female may be very abundant. This female appears to be someone very abundant. Maybe she's a business person. 
Maybe she just makes her own money. Um, you know, she makes her own money. She pays her own bills. She's like independent. Something like that. And I'm here. I N D E P E N D E N T D. You know what that means? She pay her own house. She pay her own bills. What's two jobs? Work hard. She a bad bra. Something like that, right? You guys remember that song? That's the energy I'm feeling about this woman. Okay. So that could be you or that can be. You know, if you're a male, whatever you're dealing with, just take this as it resonates, okay? But this is a bad, this is a bad woman right here. B-A-D-D, -D, two Ds, Michael Jackson bad, okay? And coming up, and I'm getting chills before I even speak this, so I know I'm on with this. Somebody's wanting marriage. Like, somebody wants marriage with somebody. Somebody's thinking about marriage. If not marriage... It's not everybody singing about that. This is definitely some kind of celebration. Twin flame energy. I'm feeling twin flame energy. I just am. So if that resonates with you, then we got that energy coming up here. Um, but I do see here at least a sense of celebration, a positive outcome. All right, so let's see what's going on here. Let's go into your prediction. So what's going to happen is, I like it, and I like it a lot. So on the top, I have the tower. I have the clover. I have the key, the mice, the scythe. So what I can see here, Sagittarius, is you guys have been having some kind of, okay, you've been having some kind of worries, anxieties, possibly about a relationship. I do feel like you've been having some kind of challenging feelings about a relationship. Again, worries, anxieties, there may be instability in this relationship. You may be uncertain about this relationship or this connection. It doesn't have to be an actual relationship. This can be like a situationship or a romantic connection, whatever this is. I see there have been some challenges, some burdens. Um, there may have been a feeling like there was unrequited love. Um, there may have been somebody feeling let down, some kind of disappointment in this situation. But what I'm seeing, yes, okay, 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 I got it. So what I'm seeing here, Saggies, is whatever challenges that you have been experiencing, whatever difficulties you have been experiencing or whatever worries or instability that you've been experiencing in this connection, those are going to be a thing of the past. So those are going away. So the beautiful thing is, again, we have this Clover card. So the Clover card represents, you know, this is like a positive outcome. This is new opportunities. Um, this is reconciliation. This is um, hookups, hooking up with somebody. Um, this is just a very positive outcome. This is joy. This is happiness. This can also say that whatever challenges that you had will be a thing of the past, just as we were just speaking about. So this is saying that there's absolutely a positive outcome. Now, what I'm just hearing is um, Sagittarius, make a wish. I feel like Sagittarius, you guys can make a wish. So what you can do right now is take a moment to make a wish. And I'm going to set an intention here for your wish to come true. Make a wish, Sagittarius. Make a wish. You see these, uh, what are these daffodils? What are, I, don't, I don't know, dandelions, dandelions. You see these dandelions? I'm just feeling as though you need to make a wish. So let's do that now. Okay, and go. Okay. Did you make your wish, Sag? Yes, let's move forward. And so it is. Okay. So, you could be in isolation from somebody right now. You don't have to be, though. But it looks like, 
yes, some of you could be in isolation with someone. During the month of April, you could be taking your connection forward to the next level. So this connection is going to be elevating. It's going to be elevating to the next level of love, elevating to the next level of commitment, elevating to the to the next level of commitment. I feel like this King of Cups here wants to elevate this connection with his Empress to the next level of commitment. So you could be this King, you can be this Empress. Right? But there's a sense of taking this to the next level here. Making something official. The tower stands for things that are official. So you can be taking a, a relationship forward to the next level, like officially. So I do see here that if you've been having worries, challenges, instabilities, insecurities, anxieties about a relationship, those are going to go away because a solution is going to be presented. Now, this is the one of the most positive cards that you can have in the Lenormand deck because this says that these worries and challenges that you have, you're going to find a solution. You're going to find a solution. You're going to find the key to your success, the key to your happiness. It's like things are going to work out for you in this situation. So have no fear about that. It's like things are going to work out okay no matter what happens here in your particular situation because this is a general reading. So everything's going to unfold for you all in different ways. But I see a positive outcome coming. Now, some of you may receive some kind of clarity and this might be clarity regarding someone's deception or there may be some kind of clarity, bro. So you could give someone clarity or someone else can be making things clear with you. And this is clarity about someone's um, deceptive way, someone's manipulation. We have the fox. So the fox is someone who is deceptive, manipulative, someone who is cunning, who is sly, someone who is a trickster. So someone could have been dishonest in this situation. It's going to be you or your person. Someone was dishonest in this situation and this could be coming out. Yes. Okay. Okay. That's going to be coming out. That's going to be coming out. And there's going to be some clarity brought. And I can see that because the key, right? This is a card of illumination. So this is a card of illumination. And this is a card of clarity. So we have here illumination and clarity coming. And this is going to be regarding likely someone's deceptive or manipulative way, someone's sneaky behavior, um, something like that. But honestly, and what just came to my mind and what I'm hearing, and, and then what I see in the cards is that even when this truth is made known, I don't feel as though that's going to make a major damper on the relationship or on the connection. Honestly, I feel as though that could make it better. That's going to make it, I got, okay, I'm getting chills, so I'm on with that one. I'm getting, yeah, I got chills, so I'm on with that one. Okay, so that's what it is. So that clarity, that honesty, whatever's going to come out, and I'm hearing the saying, what's been done in the dark comes out in the light, or like, what goes in in the wash comes out in the dry. What's been done in the dark always comes to the light. So somebody's been doing some dirty deeds. Somebody's been doing something in the dark. Somebody's been doing something behind somebody's back. Somebody's been keeping a secret. What I just heard was a third party situation. And I said this. Okay, so that may, that may be a Freudian slip because I meant third party situation, but then I went, I did this. So it could have been a third party situation. Now it could be a two party situation. So there could be a third party who is in the past now. Okay, so this can be for you or your person. Take this as it resonates. But there's going to be um, something coming out. Again, what's, what's done in the dark comes out in the light. But I don't feel as though this is going to make a major damper on this um, situation, I feel like it's going to even make it better. So during the month of April, you're going to be, there's gonna be some illumination and I feel like it could come intuitively, 
Things are going to be coming to you intuitively. Some intuitive messages about a connection. Or you could be intuitively feeling like you want to take a connection forward to a higher level of commitment. To a higher level of commitment. Um, yeah, you could be feeling like you want to move things forward to a higher level of commitment. And you can feel like it's the right thing for you to do, to move forward with somebody. Like that's going to be the key to your happiness. Like that's going to be a positive outcome. And if you do, that will be a positive outcome. That will be a positive outcome. So if you've been experiencing any difficulties and emotions, Sag, regarding this connection, that's going to be made better that's definitely going to be made better in the month of april most definitely so they're having a lot of worries here anxieties with the mice regarding this connection because again you feel like with the cross there have been some burdens there have been some challenges there have been some obstacles there may be a feeling of unrequited love or, you know, just worries, anxieties. There's been some really heavy, heavy energy. But that's going to be going away. Somebody's cutting out the deception. Somebody's getting rid of their deceptive ways, their manipulative ways. They're cutting that out of this connection because it's like they want happiness. They want to take this to a new level. So they're getting rid of these deceptive and manipulative ways, these, this dishonesty, this cunning behavior. And I'm hearing, I just heard this keeping of multiple partners for some, not for everybody, but for some. So whatever this person was doing, whatever this deceptive person was doing, it's like that behavior is going to be a thing of the past. So for our second prediction here, house, success and love in 36 hole, big water. Now, on the top of the bottom, we have sad news and great happiness. So in both of these decks, we have the most positive cards with that key card that we spoke about. And then with this great happiness card. So there is some challenging, I'm hearing a ringing in my ear. Why? I'm feeling like somebody heard something that they didn't want to hear. I'm here. I'm feeling like somebody heard some news that they didn't want to hear. And like, okay, it's gone. The ringing's gone. Like, that's playing heavily on their minds. On their mind. On your mind. On your person's mind. Somebody got some bad news. And I'm feeling as though this is news from the past. That's just what I feel. Now, there could be some bad news that comes up in the month of April. You could be giving some bad news. You could be receiving some bad news. But for some reason, I'm just feeling a past energy for this card right now. So take that as it resonates. For some of you, it could be something coming up. For others of you, it could be something of the past. And then for others of you, it can be both. But it looks like there's going to be success, a positive outcome, a beautiful outcome within this connection and this outcome is going to be something that you've been hoping for wishing for dreaming for desiring pining after it's something that you've really wanted so what i'm loving right now is that i can see here sag that what it is that you have been wanting in love is going to come about it's like your wishes your dreams are going to happen with the success and love 36 of big water and this great happiness card 
Whatever it is that you are asking for, wanting, hoping for, and love, this is going to manifest for you. This is going to manifest for you. Some of you could be on your own right now. Some of you could be single right now as you are watching this. But, you know, it's like I do see here a long-standing connection, a long-standing relationship. I do see here something that is long-standing and stable. Even if you are single, I see a relationship, a friendship, a, a situationship that has a potential for great success. And it looks like, again, you're going to be taking this to the next level. Yeah, let's look into the goddess of Sag, sun, moon, rising, April. First off, it does look like finances and career are affecting your love life right now. Some of you guys can be more focused on finances and career right now. Financial issues are a factor in your love life. There's going to be hard to hard conversations with you and this person during April. Hard to hard conversations. So you guys could find yourself expressing your feelings with someone or someone could be expressing their feelings with you. There's going to be some kind of discussion that you have with this person and this could allow you to take this connection forward to the next level. If not that, then this conversation is just going to bring about a lot of happiness and a lot of success. So again, I feel like many of you are going to experience some kind of reconciliation during April with someone. I feel like some of you could be single. Some of you could be single at this time. Some of you could be looking very good. But I don't, I don't think all of you are going to stay single throughout April. I think some of you guys are going to go into a higher level of commitment with someone. Because guess what? This could be the one. Who you're dealing with, Sag, this could be the one. This could be your person, your one, your special someone. You've already met the romantic person you, you seek. So because this is your person, stay optimistic about your love life. Now, some of you may be in retreat right now because we are in quarantine. Well, a lot of us are in quarantine. Um, so you could be, um, by yourself or some of you guys could be retreating together. You could be in quarantine together, right? In quarantine together. So you guys can be spending time together. It's time to disconnect from the world. So you could be disconnecting from others, spending time with one another, spending time with one another. So stay optimistic about your love life, Sagittarius. Stay optimistic. Stay optimistic about your love life because positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So know that this can be the one. I'm hearing you have nothing to be afraid of. So if you have been afraid, and yes, maybe some of you were afraid because we have like anxiety here. If you've been feeling anxious about someone, know that you have nothing to be anxious about because this can be the one. Because this is going to be a good situation because this is a very, very positive situation. And we can see that by that great happiness card, by the key card, by the success and love card, by the hero fund, by the king of cups, the queen of cups. This is a beautiful situation, Sag. <clears throat> Hmm. A beautiful situation. I love it. Okay. So this is going to work out beautifully for you. So stay optimistic about it. Know that everything's going to work out. Um, also again, know that this person is the one, have that conversation. Everything's going to work out for you, Sarah, to really like, what else do you want me to say? Like, yeah, you, there may be some worries, some anxieties about this, but like everything's going to work out. If you're wondering if you can trust this person who you're dealing with, you can trust this person who you are dealing with. Um, if you're a cross watcher um, watching this, um, you can you can trust this situation. You can, you know, you, you guys can trust this situation, even if you're uncertain about it, because I do see a lot of uncertainty, a lot of worries about it. It's like, just let go of that. Because I don't have anything here saying that you should be worried or that you should be careful or that you should look out for this person. Yeah, there has been some deception here, but the, but the, but the deception is coming to an end. Yeah, there has been some deception, but this deception is coming to an end. And somebody wants to take the next step and move forward and take the next step with you. Or you want to take the next step with somebody. Okay? 
So it's like things are going to work out here. Things are going to be beautiful, okay? Be open, be honest with that heart-to-heart -heart conversation card. Now I'm just getting guys to pull one card from here and then we'll wrap up this reading. <clears throat> Sag. Give me one card for Sag. Too many. One card for Sag. One card for Sag. April. April. All right. It's true love, baby. All day, every day. It's true love. All right? Say no mas. This is true love. That king and that queen of cups. Here this is. Bam. Look at that. Mm. Mm-mm. 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 Mm. How beautiful is that, Sag? All right. You guys have a good month. All right? Thumbs up and like this reading if the message is resonate. I got chills. Thumbs up and like this reading if the message is resonate. Comment, share, subscribe to my channel, Sagittarius. Also, make sure to sign up for the free live webinar coming up April 9th, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard, um, Pacific Standard Time. And 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is going to be awesome. You definitely don't want to miss out. You want to check out that webinar. It's going to be so awesome. We're going to go over so much amazing stuff. So make sure to register. Again, it's free. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be fun. So check it out. Sign up in the description box below. And I will definitely see you guys there. If you want to book a private reading with me, visit my website, mypsychiclovecoach.com. Sagittarius. I love you guys so much. As you guys already know, I love you, love you, love you lots. And I look so forward to seeing you here soon. All right. Bye, Saggy.